Hi guys, so today I'm going to go through how I prepare my three favorite shellfish. So I'll be doing scallops, snow crab legs, as well as lobster tails. So what I have here are my seafoods that I'll be cooking today. I've got two lobster tails, I've got some scallops, as well as two clusters of snow crabs. I bought them from the local grocery store Frozen. I um, always want to thaw these out in the refrigerator with the scallops once they're thawed out. Make sure you dry them off, otherwise they will steam as you cook them. And we're going to be pan frying them today. We're going to be steaming the crab legs in the oven and we'll be boiling the lobster tails. Crab legs because I don't like them to be watery, so I prefer to do them in the oven. Um, it gives them a much better steam and they don't get mushy and soggy. So to start off, um, for seasoning I use Old Bay and just a garlic powder with parsley. And my Cajun seasoning because I put that on everything. So I've already cleaned um, these off. I just thawed them and scrubbed them. So to season them, just however much you like. You don't want them to be too salty. You want them to have a good flavor on them. And do both sides. So just like that. And I'll cover them with foil. And make sure it's filled nicely. I'm gonna pop these in the oven for about 20 minutes. So the lobster tails are probably the easiest to prepare. So I just have a pot that's big enough to hold both of them. So I'm going to add in my seasonings, so I'm still just using Old Bay, my garlic, and I'm also going to use Lowry's Total Seasoning, which is delicious. Just going to let that sit in there until the pot boils, and then we'll add in our lobster tails. So now that our water is boiling. We're going to plop in our lobster tails. Get in there. And we're going to let the water come back to a boil. Once it gets to boiling again, we're going to put on the lid. Turn the stove off. We're just going to let that sit until it's time for everything else to be done. Now with the scallops, you don't want to season them too early because when you put salt on them, it has a tendency to draw the water out of them, which then makes them steam rather than searing like you want them to. So for me, I will take a tablespoon of olive oil. And today I'm gonna to go with some garlic powder. And I'm going to go with the total seasoning. And just because I feel like spicy today, I'm just going to throw in just a little bit of cayenne pepper. Just a little bit, not too much. And just massage them around and let them get happy and they're all pretty and seasoned and ready. Alright, so now it's time for our scallops. So I've got the burner on and I've let the pan get hot. I'm not adding oil to the pan because our scallops are already chilling in oil. So I'm just going to put them in the pan. Oh. 
I'm going to let them cook until one side is brown and you can start seeing it turn white. So I'll be back. Alright, so now that my scallops are starting to turn white, right here, I'm going to flip them over. Probably takes about two or three minutes on each side. And now everything is done. We've got the scallops, the lobster tails, which are just split in half, and our two crab clusters.